Okay, hi fourth graders. Um, this is lesson 75 for fourth grade. And we're talking about measuring different types of rotations that we have, um, measuring turns that we might do. So one of the things we want to remember is that when we when we go a certain direction like clockwise, that's going to the right with the clock. So this is clockwise. The idea of counterclockwise, counterclockwise is going to be the other way, to the left. It's going the opposite way that a clock would normally go. So to the right is clockwise, to the left is counterclockwise. Now, when we talk about a full turn, a full turn is what we call 360 degrees. That would mean I would start at 12 and I would go all the way around and end up at 12 again. That's 360. A half a turn is half of 360, which would be 180 degrees. So if we start at 12 and we go down to 6, that's 180 degrees. If I go 12 all the way this way to 6, that's clockwise, we went 180 degrees. If I went from 12 going past 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 to 6, then that's counterclockwise. So half turn counterclockwise or a half turn clockwise. All right. A quarter turn then, a quarter turn is what we call 90 degrees, a 90 degrees turn. That's going half a quarter or half of a half or a quarter. So when you think of taking this clock and you're dividing it into four sections like a quarter would be, we're going one quarter turn would be here. Going to here would be a half a turn or two quarters, three quarters at the nine, and then a full turn going to the 12. So each of these is broken down into 90 degrees. Each of these four quarters are 90 degrees. So when we add all those up, we should get 360. And if we go three quarters, we go 90, 180, 270. So 270 degrees would be that three quarters of a turn. And we can just go um, through some examples that are in your book here. If we look at example one, Maria and Irina were both facing north. Marina turned 90 degrees clockwise and Irina turned 270 degrees counterclockwise after turning which directions were the girls facing. So if we say they were both facing north, knowing that north is up here, so they're both facing this way. We have M and E both facing that way. Now M, or I, sorry, M goes 90 degrees clockwise. So she's gonna go all the way over to the three and she's going clockwise. So this is 90 degrees clockwise. So M is now facing this direction. Okay, and we have I going 270 degrees counterclockwise. So I went this way, there's 90, there's 180, there's 270. So I is now facing this way as well. So both girls are facing east. It got to the same point, but in two different ways. M Mariah went to the right clockwise 90 degrees, and then Irina went counterclockwise and went around 270 degrees, and they ended up in the same spot. Now when you need to look at and try and figure out um, the direction of a turn around a certain point, then we kind of a lot of times can look at things and say, okay, if I were to take a picture of that or if I were to trace that and look at it, what would it actually become? So if I had this right here, and here's the point that I don't want to move. I want that point to stay in the same spot. 
I'm just taking this and I'm moving it. And this is triangle one and this is triangle two. And I want this triangle to be in this position. So if I do that, if we think about moving it, well, okay, so here is, it's the 12 position. I'm gonna turn that, and as I turn it, I'm going to turn it, and it's going to land over here now, which is in that three position. So if I describe that turn, it went from point this point here over to here. That means, and if you can look at it at the clock, it went from the 12 to the three. That means I've turned it 90 degrees clockwise. If I have this one here. Now this is not the example in your book, it's a little different. Um, so this one goes over to here, I'm turning it 90 degrees clockwise. If we have um, different things, a lot of times, like I said, it's nice to have something laid out and we can trace it and find out what it actually is. So if I have a card and it's laying this way, okay, um, I'm not going to do it too close to the card because I don't want to get the edges too yucky. All right, so let's say I have that card there and I want to move it. From this point, I want to move it um, 90 degrees counter, or let's do clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise. So I would take it and I would turn it, and I'm not going to let that point move. I get 90, and I take it down to here, do 90 degrees clockwise, and then when I trace it out, I would see that, okay, it would be down here. So if I did 90 degrees clockwise, here's my card, I want to keep that in the same, I take it down to here and then I would trace it and have it come down like that and that would be a 90 degrees clockwise turn. A lot of that will go over more so with physical um, objects when we get back into class, but for right now um, the things that we need to make sure we understand are that our half turn, full turn, quarter turns that they're 360 degrees, 180 degrees, and 90 degrees, and they can go either clockwise or they can go counterclockwise. When you're doing things like that, I would advise you to either trace it out and do the actual rotations or put a clock on your paper or somewhere near where you can use a clock and do those types of 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, um, those turns like that. Okay, and that's it for lesson 75 for grade 4.